Now, your news on the go. Well, for a half a dozen districts around the region, it's the first day of back to school. Yeah, it's the first day for these districts. Auburn, Cato, Meridian, Jordan, Elbridge, as well as Marcellus and Port Byron. It's also the first day for Fayetteville Manlius, but only for grades K through 9th. And law enforcement officials are reminding you to mind your speed in those school zones and always stop, of course, when a school bus uses their stop arm sign, as you can be fined if you pass that illegally. Have a great first day if you're headed back. Keep it safe. Well, didn't the state fair end with another bang? It broke another all-time attendance record for the fourth straight year. 1,329,275 people passed through the gates during the fair's 13-day run this year. That makes the New York State Fair now the third most attended fair in the whole U.S. of A. On its busiest day, this past Saturday, the fair became the fifth largest city in the state of New York. Well, state police had put you on the lookout for the thief who cracked into state fair vending machines last week, and now he is in custody, caught at the scene of the crime. Now, state police say this man milked at least two vending machines during the fair in the Dairy Cattle Building, and photos snapped by an observant vendor alerted the machine's owner. That thief came back to the grounds yesterday where he was arrested. Well, you may have heard it. Thousands did, and they let us know about it. Last night, just after 5, a sonic boom. Well, it was real, and it, it, it was accompanied by a flash that looked something like this. The American Meteor Society is investigating a fireball sighting in the Syracuse area late yesterday afternoon. They say a meteor, larger and brighter than normal, entered the atmosphere somewhere over Lake Ontario and created that sonic boom. No danger to the public. But it was loud. All right, here's a health alert we, we've been telling you about for probably two weeks. Aerial Spring in the Cicero Swamp area is still scheduled for tonight after 6 o'clock. Now, the county health department is working to reduce the number of mosquitoes carrying dangerous diseases like Tripoli and West Nile. Spring, of course, is weather dependent. But if you're in the spray zone, stay indoors, keep those pets inside, and keep your windows closed.